and welcome to this edition of Credit Matters TV. My name is Taryn Wade and I'm an Associate Director in the European Corporate Research Team. Today I'm speaking with David Gilmore, Head of Leverage Finance Analytics for Europe. Welcome David. Thank you. Now we've recently published a research update on Sayat Pajin Gial, the uh, European Directory's business following yep. its restructuring. Yep. And at the same time we've also um, updated our recovery analysis and what we've said is that if Sayat were to restructure again, that it would, it, it's likely it would restructure in the UK, yes. which is quite interesting considering that Sayat is an Italian company. Can you explain um, why this is? Absolutely. This is the first time that we've uh, considered the uh, restructuring comi or the recovery comi, if you like, for a corporate to be different than its normal um, center of main interest. So the primary reason we've done this is because uh, Sayat Pagin has already been through a scheme of arrangement th this summer. The makeup of the company in terms of its creditors, um, its, its group structure and, and the various interested parties, in our view, going forward, if there is a hypothetical default going forward, will be the same. Therefore, we would expect a similar scheme of arrangement uh, as has happened already. So that's the primary reason where we, why we've chosen to use a uh, UK comi, if you like, for our recovery rather than Italian. And sch scheme of arrangement is limited to the UK? That's, yes. Yeah, okay, okay. So what, um, what impact has this had um, in terms of the recovery prospects for um, Sayat's creditors um, and, our, and our recovery ratings specifically? It, it's actually got quite a material impact in this case. Mm -hmm. um, just to remind you of our recovery scale, it runs from one to six. Uh, the relevant sections are, if the recovery is above 70%, uh, then in a jurisdiction that we consider to be creditor friendly like the UK, we will notch up the instrument uh, and notch up the issue rating from the corporate credit rating. Mm -hmm. uh, if the jurisdiction is Italy or a, a similar jurisdiction which is slightly less creditor friendly, we, will, we have a higher threshold of percentage recovery in order to notch up the credit. So put very simply, because Sayat Pagin's recovery is, is in that 70 to 90% band, mm -hmm. because we've chosen a UK Comey for the um, for the hypothetical default scenario, uh, we're notching up the senior secured debt uh, to B flat from B minus, as okay. opposed to if we'd kept with the Italian Comey, we would have left it at B minus and, and not notched up at all. And can you explain what you mean when you say when you say notching and how that is linked to our recovery numerical recovery scale of one to six? Absolutely. Well, when we do our analysis on instruments um, um, in the hypothetical default, we come up with a recovery percentage. So yeah. the recovery percentage is clearly zero to one hundred, uh, and so based on that percentage, we, we, we categorize or we bucket those percentages to zero to ten percent. Uh, 10 to 30, 30 to 50, 50 to 70, 70 to 90, 90 to 100. And so based upon those percentages, we call that categories one to six. And based upon those percentages, we automatically either notch up or notch down the instrument rating from the corporate credit rating. Right. So for example, if it's a, a two in this case of 70 to 90%, so let's say it's 83% recovery, that's a two. That means the instrument rating is notched up once from the corporate credit rating. Right, but in Italy, if it's if it's that same numerical value, we cap it at a three, and so then therefore we don't notch. Absolutely. Okay. And obviously, with this happening, a lot of people in the market will start to say, "Will will this happen for other companies? Will we see this all the time? I mean, what is our view? Are are we going to be?" changing the Comey for... It, it, it's a good question. I mean, I mean, we're not expecting a big waterfall of, of precedent mm -hmm. coming mm -hmm. coming from this. Uh, the, key, the key feature, as I've mentioned, is the fact that the company has already gone through a scheme of arrangement. Therefore, all of the interest parties, interested parties have already demonstrated the fact that they, they wanted the, um, the restructuring to happen in the UK because it's to, it was to pretty much everybody's interest to get it done quickly and smoothly. Also, it lowered the threshold from 90 to 75 percent, or 100 percent to 75 percent, which made it happen uh, much more effectively. Mm -hmm. So because that's already happened for this firm, that's the starting point for us to decide whether or not it may happen again. So uh, any other firm that we might consider moving the, uh, the Comey on, as a prerequisite, it will need to have gone through some sort of restructuring in the UK jurisdiction or, or a similar jurisdiction to, for us even to consider it. Okay, okay. Great, well thanks so much for explaining thanks that for to me. us. Um, that concludes this edition of Credit Matters TV. Thanks for Thank joining you. us.